I'm Shelley Turner, the Builder All Diva, and today I'm going to show you the difference between a single opt-in and a double opt-in subscriber list. All right, here we've got two panels that has uh, information about a single opt-in and a double opt-in. So let's talk about this panel and what all you can understand from just this panel. So the first thing is we're going to look at single opt-in and we're going to look at the blueprint. Okay, so a single opt-in blueprint is typically a lead magnet opt-in page. And once they fill out the form, they go straight to the thank you page or the sales page, whichever one you're going to offer them. Um, if it's just a lead magnet and that's all you're getting is their information, then you're going to send them to a thank you page that says, thank you for subscribing to the list. If you've got a sales page or something you're trying to sell them, you can go from the opt-in page straight to the sales page. So that's a single opt-in. And we're able to do that because they don't have to confirm their email. A single opt-in means they need to do one thing to get on your subscriber list. And that one thing is to fill out the opt-in form on that lead magnet opt-in page. Once they do that thing and then they hit submit, they are submitted to your subscriber list and already confirmed. So you can send them straight to your thank you or offer page. Now there's some pros and cons to this one. The first pro is that it's only two pages. So you only have to create two pages, the lead magnet or opt-in page, and the thank you page or sales page, whichever one that you're using. And uh, the next thing is it's really easy for them to confirm, right? All they do is fill out the opt-in form and boom, they go in that subscriber list as confirmed. And then for testing purposes, if you wanna build a website and you wanna test it, test it, retest it, and test it again, a single opt-in is a lovely thing because then you don't have to keep going back to your email, checking it, confirming, and making sure everything's working in that direction. So very easy for testing. Here's some cons though on a single opt-in and they're pretty big. The first one is it's really easy to put in fake emails. And a lot of times when I'm working to get lead magnets, I don't really want that company to keep emailing me. So I'll use a fake email address and see if I can get whatever they're offering without putting in my actual email. So using fake emails is really easy. Also single opt-ins can get really exported by bots. Meaning these are, there are bots that go all around the internet looking at websites and they look to see if there's an opt-in form that they can fill out to see if they can get to uh, hidden information or valuable information so they can steal it. So these bots, they are constantly out there. They're constantly finding these single opt-in lists and wreaking havoc on your single opt-in list. Um, you can also end up with a negative reputation, meaning people like me that use fake emails to try to get in, that fake email is gonna be confirmed on your email list. And so when you go to send out emails, that email is going to fail. The other email servers are tracking that kind of stuff. And if you have a bunch of fails or things that can't be delivered, then your reputation for your email is gonna go down. And as your reputation goes down, that means you're gonna end up in the spam box in that email client, like uh, Google, Gmail, or Hotmail, or whatever client that you're using. So that's a con for single opt-in. Now let's talk about double opt-in. First, we'll look at the blueprint. The blueprint is three pages. So you're gonna have a lead magnet opt-in page where they put in their information. When they click submit, they'll go to an email confirmation page. That email confirmation page is designed to tell them, go check your email and click confirm. Once they go check their email and click confirm, then they'll be sent to the thank you page or the sales page. Okay, so it's several steps but there's some pros and cons in there. And remember a double opt-in means that they have to do two things. They have to number one, fill out the page where they put their email and their name in there. That's the opt-in page. Then once they do that, they'll have to do the second thing, which is go check their email and click confirm. And here's some pros to this kind of subscriber list. The first one is two-step confirmation. So they have to do two steps and they have to do those steps completely to be able to be considered confirmed in your email list. If they do not complete both steps, then your uh, system is not gonna send out emails to them. Okay, so they have to go through, fill out the form, and go check their email and click confirm. If they do both of those, then they'll be able to receive emails from you. There's a lot less exportation by bots. So bots have a, a lot harder time because they have to fill out the form and confirm. So it's not really easy. There's some bots that can still do it, but most bots cannot. You'll get a better reputation for your email list because there's better deliverability and you'll get into the inbox a lot easier rather than spam. 
Now the cons of this, there's three pages instead of two, and there's a little bit more connections. So as you can see, double opt-in is definitely the best choice because it's gonna give you the most benefits of getting a good, clean list to send out your emails to hopefully end up in the inbox instead of spam. So that's the difference between a single opt-in and a double opt-in subscriber list. I hope that helped you a bunch on deciding what kind of list to build with Mailing Boss and BuilderAll.